Roman Reigns continued to be on top, another winner for the Tribal Chief. But now Triple H is here to address the rumors and give us some breaking news. Wait, what is going on? Is it actually true? Triple H has made a deal with Tony Khan. The Elite are here while they are suspended from AEW. They got eight months onto WrestleMania to collect whatever title they won and take it to the opposition to All Elite Wrestling. It is September, the Elite have a couple of months onto WrestleMania, and all they gotta do is collect some championship to make Tony Khan happy. First pay-per-view class of champions, the tag teams are on the line, but the New Day is getting an opportunity here, and we do got, we do got Kenny Omega first matchup up in here is against John Cena. In a rivalry match already, one and one is the Young Bucks on the car though. The Young Bucks are not on the car. And Seth Rollins is the brand new WWE champion. A bit unexpected, the Tribal Chief already lost the title. And Kenny Omega also lost. Says John Cena defeated Kenny Omega in their big match. The crowd cheer him on throughout. And after the match, his perseverance of winning them over you would think john cena will put over the young talent but i guess not well that was just the first pay-per-view the young bucks was not booked hopefully at the hell when they sell pay-per-view right now they do get an opportunity we do got roman reigns defending the universal championship against sheamus that is the only title roman has right now Kenny Omega is getting a WWE Championship already against Seth freaking Rollins. Oh my god. And the Young Bucks are still nowhere to be found. I am not too sure what's going on here. Nonetheless, this is a dream matchup and we need to get into it. Kenny Omega have arrived to the WWE Championship scene. Since I hear the battle cry. Are you ready to go? A well-deserving champion, and we got ourselves a dream match right away. Kenny Omega looking focused up right now. Forced to vacate the AEW Trios a Championship after winning it. Due to some conflict backstage, we probably shouldn't be talking about. I wonder if CM Punk is around here. Maybe Tony Khan made a deal. Can CM Punk be invading WWE soon enough? He's also said to be suspended or something like that. Injured as well. But you never know. Definitely a dream match. Kenny Omega versus a set freaking Rollins. Oh, and Kenny Omega already going top rope. We knew this was going to be a high flying. Okay, never mind. Just going to tease it here. Stomping away here. Can Kenny Omega do the unthinkable and win the WWE Championship running knee on the corner? Looks like he's going to go to the top rope now. He might not be teasing it. Elbow drop from the top, but he misses it. And Seth Rollins gets back up, goes for the chops, and a super kick. Big slap to the face. And Seth Rollins, uh-oh, going to go for the pedigree, going to give Triple H what he wants. And that is uh, for him to retain that championship. He's not going to let an AEW guy pick up the win here. But Kenny is not done yet, though. And Seth Rollins is going to go for the curb stomp. Early on here into the pinfall. That's after the pedigree, too. I think this is over. He just got destroyed by Seth Rollins. It is the Survivor Series pay-per-view. And, of course, the best of the best. Kenny Omega once again gets a rematch against Seth freaking Rollins. So we are running it back. The package pinfall. That could have been it right there. Seth Rollins fired up in the corner here. Kenny Omega, though. He ain't going to sell all of that. A AEW superstar, man. Got Buster Seth Rollins looking to go for that curb stomp. What is he thinking here? Seth Rollins. Incredible black magic. And right now, curb stomp right after. I think Seth Rollins just beat Kenny Omega back to back pay per views. I don't think Kenny Omega is going to cut it in the WWE. Seth Rollins wins again. The Young Bucks are nowhere to be found, but that could be changing very soon. It is the month of December. Tables are ladders and chairs are pay-per-view. Surely the Young Bucks get booked on this one, right? This is their gimmick for sure. There they are. They are taking on the New Day Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods are finally making their debut in WWE. Kenny Omega is not booked on the show. And for some reason, Logan Paul is facing off against Brock Lesnar. Good luck. 
you're gonna need it. And unfortunately, the New Day picks up the victory. Unfortunate for the Young Bucks, that is. Because the New Day wins it all. It is at the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. The road to WrestleMania is about to kick off for real this time. And hopefully, the Elite have a good position on the car. Starting off, Logan Paul versus Brock Lesnar. Big matchup right there. The 30-man Royal Rumble matchup is not the main event of the evening. But do we have any of the Elite in action here? In singles competition or in tag team competition, they are not booked on the show. They're definitely part of the Royal rumble so we're gonna see what goes down it looks like the usos are back at it again capturing the smackdown tag team championship so there are once again at the unified tag team titles the royal rumble was won by none other than xavier woods it is the elimination chamber time is running out for the elite here and the good news is that the young bucks are in action tonight as matt and nick jackson are taking on Alpha Academy, Chad Gable, and Otis. Kenny Omega is in the six-man elimination chamber matchup. He is taking on AJ Styles, Edge, Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens, and the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns. Let's see what goes down here. The Elite is fully booked on this pay-per-view. Matt Jackson and Nick Jackson loses again. Them tag team matches in the WWE are not treating them too well, to say the least. And Roman Reigns recaptured the WWE Championship. Poor Kenny Omega. WWE Fastlane, headlined by Braun Strowman. Matt Jackson and Nick Jackson once again going against Alpha Academy. Unfortunately, though, Alpha Academy is not tag team champ, so that kind of sucks. Xavier Woods is getting his matchup. And it is a Braun Strowman versus Mustafa Ali in the main event. Roman Reigns have retained the Universal Championship here. Kenny Omega is not on the show, but the Young Bucks does pick up a victory against Alpha Academy. This is WrestleMania. This is the big one. If the Elite manage to win any titles on this pay-per-view, they get to take it to AEW. This is their last opportunity here. Kenny Omega is actually number one. And Matt and Nick Jackson are number one on the Raw Tag Team Champions division. But will they actually be booked on the show? Surely they have to be booked on a no tag team matchup yet. So I don't know what's going on. Okay, we got the Viking Raiders versus the Usos. No Young Bucks. Unfortunately, I don't think the tag team titles are moving on here. What is the main event? Oh my god. Okay, one on one. Kenny Omega with the Young Bucks, the Elite, are taking on the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns. Last opportunity in this a WWE Championship matchup. Let's get it. Kenny Omega is ready to go. He got the backup. The Young Bucks were not booked on the show. But you know Kenny Omega had to show them some love. One thing is clear, and that is that Triple H does not like the Young Bucks. This man barely booked them, but he does love some Kenny Omega. And all of a sudden, Kenny Omega got a big opportunity here tonight. Roman Reigns says he doesn't need the Usos. He doesn't need Paul Heyman to prove that the best of AEW has to offer got nothing on the Tribal Chief. He controls the industry. That is the prize on the line. WWE is the biggest prize at the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. This is the elite last opportunity to collect some championship and walk out of the WWE with it and take it to AEW. Big fight feel for sure. The Tribal Chief Roman Reigns taking on Kenny Omega. An absolute dream matchup. And we are here to see it. Kenny Omega buckles the knee. Gets a good counter to start off this matchup. Kenny Omega got some big help on the outside. And that is the Young Bucks. And right now he's going to go to the top rope. Drop kick from the top. The Tribal Chief has a lot on his plate right now. He cannot lose that WWE Championship. He cannot let it go to AEW. We have gotten some words that the reason why the Usos and even Paul Heyman are not here tonight is because the Young Bucks took them out after the tag team matchup. So the Young Bucks is making sure that the Tribal Chief is here on the main event by himself and that Kenny Omega Gets a good shot at the WWE Championship. Moonso into the powerbomb here. 
Kenny Omega as well has a lot of pressure, of course. He's going to go for the elbow drop right now. The Young Bucks hyped up on the outside. And right now, the Tribal Chief going to go for that running boot to the face. Stomping away on the Tribal Chief in the corner here. Taking the air out of him. Roman Reigns though, with the reversal. Rolls him over. Thought he was going to go for a pinfall there. A lot of strikes and kicks here. Roman gets the best out of that exchange with the neck breaker. Elbow to the face. Going to stomp away now. Kenny Omega rolls him over. Going to pick him up. Butterfly German suplex. And that's a two count. I respect that Kenny Omega is desperate right now. He wants to get that WWE Championship as soon as possible. Superman punch though. Oh, nice counter. Roman Reigns should have gone for that pinfall, but maybe he was setting out for the spear. And right now, Kenny Omega with the one-winged angel. And that's it. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? The one-winged angel gets it done. Kenny Omega just squashed Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. Holy hell. The WWE Championship is going to AEW. Unbelievable. That wasn't even that good of a matchup. Nonetheless, uh, for more challenges like this, uh, make sure to check out the playlist in one of our recent videos and stay savage.